Hello friends, welcome to the channel. If you like to follow the news, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications bell to receive updated news. Also, don't forget to leave your likes and share them with your friends. Now let's go to today's video. Volcano lava in the Canaries can generate toxic gases if it reaches the sea. The magma's encounter with the Atlantic Ocean can generate explosions, boiling water waves, and even toxic clouds. Cumber Vieja erupted on Sunday and recorded its ninth eruptive fissure. The lava columns of the Cumber Vieja volcano continue to engulf everything in their path on the slow descent to the coast of the Canary Islands, in Spain, and now generate suspicion for the possible emission of toxic gases when it reaches the Atlantic Ocean. The meeting of burning magma with the sea can generate explosions, waves of boiling water, and even toxic clouds, according to the United States Geological Survey. The clouds raised by the interaction between seawater and lava are acidic, explains Patrick Allard, research director at the French Geophysics Institute of the Globe, in Paris, to the France Presse News Agency. This encounter was scheduled for the evening of Monday 20th, but has not yet taken place due to the slower advance of lava on the island of La Palma in the archipelago off the coast of Africa. The magma is about 2 kilometers from the sea and is advancing at around 200 meters per hour, but authorities are now refraining from re-predicting when lava columns may reach the water. The Cumber Vieja erupted on Sunday 18 and registered its ninth eruptive fissure on Monday night, after a new earthquake, which forced the removal of another 500 people and raised to 6,000 displaced people. Its eruption could last several weeks or a few months, according to the Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands, in Vulcan, and the volcano is spewing columns of smoke that reach hundreds of meters in height and between 8,000 and 10.5 thousand tons of dioxide of sulfur per day. The Canary Islands regional government has decreed a 2 nautical mile exclusion radius, about 3.7 kilometers, around where lava flows must reach, requiring onlookers not to travel to the area. The president of the region, Angel Victor Torres, says that the lava moves relentlessly towards the sea, destroying houses, and said he was impotent because it will continue taking other houses on its way to the sea. So far, an eruption of Cumber Vieja has destroyed 166 buildings and affected 103 hectares of the island, according to the European Copernicus Observation System. Despite the destruction, no deaths have been recorded so far and the airspace is open. There are 48 flights scheduled for today at the island's airport. The appearance of a new eruptive fissure on Monday night, the 9th since Sunday, forced the removal of another 500 people in El Paso, bringing the total number of displaced people to 6,000. The island of La Palma has almost 85,000 inhabitants. The couple Israel Castro Hernandez and Urena Torres Abreu witnessed their home being destroyed by the eruption the first since 1971 and still have not been able to assimilate what happened. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications bell to receive updated news. Also, don't forget to leave your likes and share them with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and until the next video.